From her home in Leicester Village on the outskirts of Freetown, Haisa Dumbia could hear the sound of gunshots and see the inmates of Padamba Road Prison break free. A week after what the government describes as an attempted coup, Dumbia's greatest fear is not political instability, but being unable to feed her husband and six children. Especially the price of rice. It is skyrocketing every day. It has become worse. With $1.50, you cannot feed your family. Since President Julius Madabio came to power, the price of rice has quadrupled and the value of the local currency has plunged. According to the UN, 80% of Sierra Leoneans cannot afford basic food items. Frustration spilled onto the streets last year, with demonstrators complaining about high prices. The government responded with police firing live rounds. People are suffering in Sierra Leone. Cost of living is unacceptable. The, the salaries cannot even survive for one week. So it's easy for the soldiers to believe that if they stage a coup, they will be welcomed. President Bio, who staged a coup of his own in 1996, was re-elected in a contested presidential vote in June. Now he's trying to unite the population after last week's rebellion, the latest coup attempt in a string of military takeovers in West Africa. During an interview with Al Jazeera in October, President Bio said some coups were a good thing. We should collectively make the effort to understand why this uh, trend uh, has, has picked up so quickly. Corruption, growing inequality and a lack of trust in aging politicians seen as out of touch with a young population struggling to survive. For Aisa to Dumbia, unless there is change, the future looks bleak. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.